Good morning, hello again flying friends. Welcome back to Moorabbin Airport. It is a beautiful sunny day. There's not a breath of wind. What else are we gonna do? Now I think Tango Delta Sierra was left here early in the morning for me and the problem about leaving a plane early in the morning outside and not in the hangar Clearance for Echuca, track Melbourne, Mangalore, maintain 5,000. Uh, clear to Echuca, uh, Melbourne, Mangalore, maintain 5,000, Tango Delta Sierra. Tango Delta Sierra, score 4367, leaving 2,500 feet, contact departures 129 at decimal 4. 4367, uh, passing 2,500, departures 1294, Tango Delta Sierra. 1294. Tango Delta Sierra, and uh, further instruction requirement to hold overhead Moorabbin at 5,000. Uh, hold overhead Moorabbin 5,000, Tango Delta Sierra. That's a new one. Moorabbin Tower, Tango Delta Sierra is ready, 3-5 left, holding overhead 5,000, then via Melbourne. Tango Delta Sierra Tower, line up. Line up, Tango Delta Sierra. Tango Delta Sierra, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Tango Delta Sierra. Okay, full power. Nice and straight. Airspeed's alive. 70 knots. Alright, cross the departures, listen out on departures, then we'll let them know what we're doing. Melbourne departures, Tango Delta Sierra passing 2500, climbing 5000, currently holding overhead, Moorabbin. Tango Delta Sierra departures identify, continue to hold overhead, uh, expect just a short delay. Tango Delta Sierra. Must be some traffic coming into Melbourne, but he doesn't want us to get in the way of, so we've got Moorabbin just down there below us. Delta Sierra and uh, re-cleared now track direct to Mangalore 5000. Direct Mangalore 5000 Tango Delta Sierra. All right so now what we can do is we can go, we can unobs that, we can go direct and we'll go down to Mangalore. India Bravo, Enter. India contact Enter. departures 118. That gives us a direct track now from here to Mangalore. So let's get the autopilot in here. Nav, nav, GPS steering, VS and alt, which will give us altitude hold. And we should then climb, continue to climb to 5,000. What a shame, we're not going to go over the top of Melbourne, never mind. Melbourne departures, good age, it's 941, uh, descending 6,000. Information for PAM. That's uh, 941 departures. A little bit more cloud to go through. This should only be a small one as well. Maybe a few bumps in this one though, over the mountains. Watching the artificial horizon, I don't care what's going on outside at the moment. And to the next cloud, same thing, back on the AH. Wings are level. Altitude is good, track is good. Wow, well, that was only a small one anyway. And we're through. Thank you, Delta Sierra, vacated control, airspace control service, terminate, connect center 122.4. Control service is terminated, 1224, Tango Delta Sierra. So, over to 1224, into this cloud, the same time, that's Melbourne Centre, so we just tell Melbourne Centre which level we're at. Melbourne Centre, Tango Delta Sierra maintaining 5,000. Tango Delta Sierra, Melbourne Centre, area Q&H, 1023. 1023, Tango Delta Sierra. So whenever we get an area, or any Q&H, we need to read that back. Apart from that, now we're in controlled air, uh, uncontrolled airspace rather. We don't have the control services from air traffic control. They're not responsible for separating us from other traffic. However, they will give us reports of IFR and any known uh, VFR traffic as well. 
And we have the aerodrome in sight, just cancelled our SAR watch with Melbourne Centre. And there were a couple of other aircraft coming Echuca in. Echuca traffic, air turret, your logo from you, turning left face for runway 35, Echuca full stop. So he's on base, another one on downwind, and I'm just coming in on the dead side. And we'll be joining crosswind runway 35. Echuca traffic, Tango Delta Sierra is joining crosswind runway 35, Echuca. Runway 35, the other aircraft's just about to land. Chica traffic, Tango Delta Sierra turning downwind, runway 35 at Chica. Chica traffic, Tango Delta Sierra turning base, runway 35 at Chica. Tiny knots, which is what we want down here. Wind's pretty much from our left, so we don't have a tailwind on base. Chica traffic, Tango Delta Sierra on final runway 35, full stop, Chica. Oh, nice bit of turbulence there. So we need to backtrack because there's a couple of aircraft coming. Chuka traffic, Tango Delta Sierra is backtracking runway 35 at Chuka. Let's go see if we can find a park. That might be easier said than done. All right, we landed, TDS is all tied down. A couple of people actually came up to me just now, locals from Echuca. One of the ladies said that she flew that aircraft as well. So anyone else who's flown TDS is watching. We have another one in our clan over there. And her daughter's just about to do her first solo as well. So if you're watching this afterwards, good luck with the first solo. Lots of people here today. Plenty of people here, but we need to get into town. So where do I get a taxi from? Aero Club is pumping, you can get a lunch in there um, and the queue is pretty decent, the parking lot I suppose of all the aircraft is full, TDS got the last spot so that was lucky. Um, so this is kind of the spot to be, I don't know why we haven't been down here before. I don't know whether you can see in the distance over there, you know what that is? Yes there lies the soon to be taken down, I think it's already been decommissioned actually, that's the NDB at Echuca. I think the only people using it now are the birds that are perched on top. Uh, taxi. Hello. Hello. Thank, Thank you very much. We're heading down the port area. Yes, please. That'd be great. Are there three better words in the English language? I don't think so. Hello, how you going? Can I get a couple of these, please? Yeah, I'll get the drink and an egg and lettuce sandwich as well. Thanks. So if you're in Echuca, check out the Beechworth Bakery. I didn't have a coffee, I didn't feel like a coffee, I needed a cold drink. So I got a cold drink, egg lettuce sandwich and a couple of presents for the, for the family back home. But now, let's go check out what's happening in the high street and then work our way down to the wharf. Tempting. I think it's a bit hot for chocolate. Oh, hang on though. No, 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 we've got to go find the boats. This is really cool. It's like we've just gone back in time. I think Tango Delta Sierra is a time machine. 
we're back in the 1800s. So I've realized I haven't really given any context to what we're doing down here and also I haven't really properly told you where we are. Um, so we're in a town called Echuca, which is the border between Victoria, which is where we are now, and New South Wales, which is over the banks of this river. And this is the mighty Murray River that basically runs as a divide between a lot of Victoria and New South Wales. Now the reason I wanted to come down here was since doing that trip to Longreach a couple of weeks ago, I really kind of reminded myself that the whole bloody point of having a pilot's license is to go out there and fly. And this is what I really want to try and encourage you guys watching this channel, you pilots out there who've got your private pilot's license. You probably have gone through phases, which I certainly did in my flying career, which you kind of think, well, what am I doing with this? I might not get a job in the airlines. I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's kind of like I'm losing heart and losing faith a little bit with flying. But I don't want you to do that. I want you to, to remind yourself why you got that license in the first place, because you love to fly. And the thing that goes hand in hand with flying is of course travel and seeing places, finding new places. Now, Echuca's actually got quite an interesting history. It was founded back in 1850 by a guy called Henry Hopkins would who as many people around those times here in Australia was a convict. Now Henry Hopwood realised that there was actually quite good money to be made in ferrying people from here in Victoria over the Murray River to New South Wales. So what he did was exactly that. He set up a ferry service and in the original days in the 1850s this place wasn't called Echuca, it was actually called Hopwood's Ferry. Now as more people came here to use Hopwood's Ferry, the town itself grew and eventually other people thought, well this is quite a good place to put a fairly significant port in the middle of Australia. And that's what all the paddle steamers are about because they started running wool and food and animals and other goods up and down the Murray River. And this started to become a really big and important part of the trade routes in Australia. However, the sad thing is it didn't actually last that long for Echuca because only about 20 years later in the 1890s, the railways came and the rail routes took all the trade away from the paddle boats. All right, that ends the Echuca history lesson for the day. We need to get back to the airport, get Tango del Sierra, and fly back home.